Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about mathematical induction in this video. Okay, I'll be taking a small example on this and I'll be just making you, I'll be giving you a clear idea on mathematical induction. Okay, mathematical induction, it is a mathematical technique which is used to prove a statement. Okay, what is the statement then? This is not uh, of logics guys, it is normal like this. 1 into 3 plus 2 into 4 plus and so on to n into n plus 1 is equals to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 7 by 6. I hope you saw these kind of equations in your inter first year. I think so. Okay. The step 1 will be the base condition. Base condition means we'll be, you will be substituting 1 or 2 or a small value. The, let us let it, assuming that as the initial value and you will be checking whether the, these statements are matching or not. And the step 2 will be the induction step in which you will be finding the nth term and nth plus 1 iteration and whether they are same or not. If they are same, the statement follows the mathematical induction and it is a statement or else it is not following mathematical induction and it is not a statement. So let us take a small example which I have just told you 1 into 3 plus 2 into 4 plus and so on up to n into n plus 2 is equals to n into n plus 1 into n plus 7 by 6. So base condition n equals to 1. So you'll be taking the first term 1 into 3 is equals to 1 into 2 into 9 by 6. Solving it you got 3 equal to 3. Hence proved s of n is true for 1. So the base condition is satisfied. So assuming the induction step is equals to k. Previously I have told nth and n plus 1th term. So better let's take it k. So n equal to k s of k is equals to 1 into 3 plus 2 into 4 and so on up to k into k plus 2 is equals to k into k plus 1 into k 2k plus 7 by 6 replacing k is equals to k plus 1 the term and adding two rhs remember that guys you will be replacing here k plus 1 here also k plus 1 hence it becomes k plus 3 and adding this term to the rhs like this so now you will be solving this equation until you get this term in terms of k plus 1. Okay, you will be, you'll be understanding it once we are going through it. So here from this I can take k plus 1 common. So I took k plus 1 into k plus 3 plus k into 2 k plus 7 by 6. Okay, taking an LCM and further solving it. I took even 6 as common. That's fine. It's in the denominator so we can take it directly. So 2k square plus 13k plus 18. So now, using factorization, 18 to 36, yes, 13 can be written as 36, how? Okay, further solving this, you can even use a calci or anything, it's all up to you. So you'll be getting roots are minus 2 and minus 9 by 2. So solving this, you're going to get these two terms, k plus 2 into 2k plus 9 is equal to this. So now, k plus 1 can be written as k plus 1 plus 1. This can be written as 2, 2 into k plus 1 plus 7. So I think this and these equations are matching. If you replace here k plus 1 plus k plus 1 plus k plus 1 plus into 2 into k plus 1 plus 7 by 6. These both equations are matching. Hence, this follows mathematical induction and it is possible for S of n is true for n equal to k plus 1 hence proved okay even there is another example which i have took the same method base condition will be with 1 and the induction step will, will be substituting initially with k and then we will be replacing on rhs side with k plus 1 and we will be adding rhs side such that at the end we will be getting the rhs part with k plus 1s okay i hope you understood understood the things here we have proved at the end we got it so we'll be just writing hence proof. Thank you guys. I hope you are clear with mathematical induction now. Thank you. Thanks for watching.